The ancient royal city of Kosice was once the center of northern Hungary and is today located in eastern Slovakia. In the 14th century, it was granted many privileges and became a city of goldsmiths and bell founders and also an important trading city. The changing fates of both Western and Eastern cultures and civilizations formed this metropolis of the East. Approaching the center of the old town from the south is the Michael Chapel. Once the funeral church of the cemetery which extended around the cathedral. Suddenly, a sacred masterpiece of sandstone emerges, the Gothic St. Elizabeth Cathedral, which characterizes the architectural ensemble of the old town. It was named after the Hungarian king's daughter, Elizabeth, who was married to the Thuringian landgrave Ludwig IV and who lived on the Wartburg. After his death, she gave her life to the service of the poor and was eventually canonized. From 1380 and influenced by French architecture, the construction of the cathedral took 130 years to complete. It was not until the end of the 19th century, and in corresponding spirit, that it was radically adapted according to neo-Gothic design. However, numerous reparations subsequently had to be made. Certain sections stood on a layer of damp gravel, which caused cracks in the vault and a number of columns to be undermined. The nave is 60 meters long and 45 meters wide, with Gothic wall paintings and a two-winged main altar. The interior design was restored in the spirit of purism, but the splendor of the altars was preserved. The main altar depicts Saint Elizabeth, the Virgin Mary, and a life of suffering. The tower overlooks the city and the beautifully renovated roofs of the naves. An historic and soulful city. The freestanding urban tower is adjacent to the cathedral, a 14th century clock tower. In 1628, it was rebuilt in Renaissance style and a museum was added. In the middle of a large marketplace, playful water fountains entertained beneath shady trees. In time with the music, the water jets perform balletic movements that never fail to attract many onlookers. Next, a freestanding carillon that has 22 bells. The melodies of East Slovakian folk songs ring out hourly. Beyond, is the classical and historic 16th century town hall. Today it is no longer in service, 
although it has a splendid former conference room that contains paintings of each of the city's mayors. The mayoral office is just as it was when it was in service. The former Mitlus prison features various exhibition rooms within the executioner's building. In the 17th century, two Gothic buildings were combined in order to create a state prison. The dungeon captures those pastimes and makes visitors shiver at the sight of instruments of torture. Close to the hangman's bastion is the former city wall. At the end of the 13th century, the settlement of Slavs and non-native Germans were given the right to defend themselves. Which they did with much enthusiasm. The former main street and market square have become a vibrant pedestrian area. With its noble buildings, modern shops and welcoming pavement cafes, this once multicultural settlement has today been transformed into a European capital of culture. The East Slovakian Museum is one of Slovakia's oldest museums, containing the history of the city and surrounding area. Here, the golden treasure of Košice can be admired in full, European and unique. Two thousand nine hundred and twenty gold coins from eighty one European mints dating from the fifteenth to the seventeenth centuries, and a Renaissance gold chain. The lane of the artisans extends parallel with the main road. It is narrow and medieval, and there's an array of tiny, tempting shops. It's good to take a rest, even if some things have been manufactured industrially. The Pentapolitana was a league of five East Slovakian Protestant cities. Thus, Kosice became a powerful center of both trade and culture, and one of the largest and most prosperous cities of medieval times.